Hey everybody, it's Ramona, welcome back. I have a candle haul. Um, my buttons are sticking out here, so sorry about the buttons sticking out. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I somehow found my way to Colonial Candle the other day. Well, actually, I think I had a pop-up either on Instagram, Facebook, you know how something pops up for a candle sale at Colonial Candle. It was 50% off. And some of these prices just were really too good to pass up. So, of course, I did not pass them up. Uh, I ended up ordering 16 candles, uh, three of which are smashed. So, uh, hopefully, we'll get replacements for those. I really did not intend at all to order that many candles, but some of these scents sounded really good to me. Now, Colonial Candles. I have not had any candles from Colonial. Way back when, maybe two plus years ago, closer to three years ago, I had some of their Snap Bars. I think they're called Snap Bars. It was like an oval clam. They were so soft. They were like peanut butter. It was such a mess. They were such and such a mess. So I've not ordered from them since then. However, I have heard not recently, but sometime in the past, that they did improve their snap bar uh, formulation, that they're not as messy and smudgy and peanut buttery. I don't know that for sure. But anyway, we're talking candles today. So uh, I have my uh, price list pulled up. I have the scent lists over there. So hopefully I can kind of coordinate all of this together. Okay, so the first one I got was from the Manly Indulgence Collection in Palo Santo, which is my new jam. This is a 15 ounce candle and it was on sale for $10. Fragrant, oh great, fragrance notes are right here. Super, thanks. Uh, Palo Santo incense, cedarwood, bergamot, and magnolia. This is nice. Oh, it's a wood, it's a woodwick. It's a little off-center woodwick too. It's good. I was not paying attention. I thought this was just straight up Palo Santo, which is not, but that's okay. Um, the only thing, it's nice. Uh, I hope the bergamot doesn't make it too cologne -y, but we'll see. Uh, but actually, also what I was going to say about the candle performance is, if you watch Heidi, Heidi U2 Scrap on YouTube, Heidi just hauled some uh, Colonial Candles from Marshalls, I believe, and she has some experience, it sounded like, and she said Colonial Candles can be hit or miss. So we shall see. Um, okay, and then this next one, what collection is this? Um, what is, what collection is this? Maybe it's essential oils. Uh, Everyday Lux. Okay, sorry. Everyday Lux. So this next one is in, um, mm, 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 mm. Farmer's Market. And this is just a, like a Bath and Body Works three wick candle. Look at the wicks look pretty good. This was a 14 and a half ounce candle, just like Bath and Body Works. And it was on sale for $6.50. So I had to say yes, I had to. Um, let me see what the scent notes are. Uh, warm musk sandalwood evoked the perfect fall day of wandering an outdoor market in the sun. Uh, bright citrus notes of lemon, pear, and fig are happiness in a jar. I don't care about the happiness. Just give me some notes. Um, promotes happiness and elevates mood. Okay, whatever. Whatever, Colonial Candles. Just give me some notes. Okay, anyway, it's a farmer's market. And these have been sitting outside for a couple of hours since I got home from work. So these should be, you know, they're a little warm. They should be pretty fragrant. It's a little light. I can't really determine what I'm smelling. Warm musk and sandalwood. Okay, maybe on a on, it's maybe it's light, but I don't know what warm musk and sandalwood have to do with a farmer's market. Okay, let's just move on. White pumpkin because I'm going to take too long if I do all that. White pumpkin. Wicks look pretty good. Typical pumpkin. Uh, I wouldn't say it's uh, cinnamon in here. I'm getting clove and nutmeg in this one. So that might be good. That might be nice for a change. Um, Hearthside, infused with essential oils. This is a really pretty kind of bronzy colored jar. 
this is a little smoky, but it also has, it also has like a frag, some kind of fragrance note in it. Um, of course it does. Uh, what I'm trying to say is a little bit of a perfumey note to go with this smokiness. I'm looking for the scent notes. Let's just kind of wing it, shall we? Let's just wing it. So the three, the three uh, candles that are smashed, I might try to put on some garden gloves or something and try to salvage some of the wax, but one of the, two of them are smashed pretty bad, so I'm probably not. Anyway, okay. Her side is like smoky with a little bit of a like cologne note in there. Uh, this one is mistletoe. I love these jars. They're very pretty. And I'm not really turned on by jars. I don't care because I have so many um, candle holders. Oh, this one is really nice. This is sitting around a campfire and you just threw a Christmas tree on the campfire. Smoky, pine. Very, very nice. I really like that one a lot. Um, then, and let me get the prices for those ones. So those ones were... Hearthside side was $7.50. The white pumpkin was $6.50. The mistletoe was $7.50. And those are just the same size candles as Bath and Body Works, 14, ounce, 14 and a half ounces. Okay, I picked up two of the oval candles. These are eight ounces each and they were $7.50. One is in Tibetan sandalwood. And I, you can see that I have this thing for sandalwood now. I don't even know where that came from. Yeah, that's nice. Like these like musky sandalwood patchouli things never used to be my jam, but clearly my scent preference is changing. That's very nice. It's definitely, I would say uh, patchouli and sandalwood. And then this one is Holiday Sparkle. And I'm anticipating this to be kind of like some bubbly berry yeah, some kind of berry. Oh, actually, it smells kind of skunky. Mm, that's weird. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Hopefully when it melts, it'll be okay when it burns. Now, Teresa T for Two gifted me one of these oval jars in Southern Sweet Tea, I think was the name of it. And it really did good. The throw was super strong. I had no issues with the burn to the best of my recollection. It was good. Okay. Uh, Winter Lodge smashed, Vanilla Sea Salt smashed, and Silver Bells smashed. So disappointing there. Oh, not Silver Bells. I have it in my hand. Um, Silver Bells. Nice three wicks. I'm getting a little bit of a bakery note in here. I have no idea. I, like I said, I'm not going to waste time with the notes, but I'm getting almost like a sugar cookie note in this. I am. I'm getting sugar cookie. Okay. Then I have two of the sandalwood bonfire. I guess I thought I would really like it, so why order one when I can order two? Oh, that's really, really nice. Similar to um I was, it's a little similar to marshmallow fireside. It's got the fireside note, but it doesn't have the marshmallow note. What am I smelling? It, it's The name is sandalwood, and I guess I do get that powdery, kind of sultry sandalwood. Yeah, it's like a sultry fire note, if that makes any sense at all, which probably does not. Okay, two of those. And those were uh, $9 each. Um, pink pepper passion fruit, and this was $9 each. Mm, it's a little too fruity. I don't know why I ordered this. I don't like fruit. I thought the pepper might tame it down. It's fruity. It's passion fruity. So um, what does it say? Pink pepper, water, fruits, and pear. I do get the pear. And actually, out of all the pear scents that I've melted and I didn't care for, this is probably the most authentic one. Um, so Susan Fitzpatrick, you need to go and get that one. Uh, so I'll probably, I'll, melt, I'll burn that one before the others because it's kind of fruity summery. Okay, Midnight Incense. This also was $9. This was 
This is, oh, here's the scent notes right here. Okay. Snow Accord and Sage. Interesting. Okay, so Silver Bell is the one I thought smelled like sugar cookies or something. Bakery, which I still stand behind that, is Orange Blossoms, Snow Accord, and Sage. I don't know. Um, and then the the Sandalwood Bonfire is Sandalwood, Tobacco, and Oud. That's why I ordered it, because of the Oud. Yeah, I do like that one. And then we have Midnight Incense which is bergamot, black pepper, and cone flower. Nope, not cone flower, iris flower. Oh, that's really nice too, actually. You know, bergamot to my nose makes things turn into like a man's cologne. This is not, it's just a very nice, clean, slightly floral, lightly incensed note. So I'm so far liking pretty much all of these. Black Mandarin. Oh, is that one smashed? Oh, the, la the label's a little wonky. What is this? Okay. Black Mandarin. Uh, charcoal, citrus, and sea salt. Can you see where all this is leading? Like, this is so weird for me to have all these, like, dark, you know, musky, charcoal, you know, smoky, sandalwood, bergamot. This is not in my scent alley. But these are things that I was craving. And when I saw the scent notes of these, like, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I need that, I need that. So I ended up buying the 16. Oh, that's really nice as well. I'm getting, I'm definitely getting the sea salt, not really citrusy, but maybe the charcoal with the sea salt. Wow, that's really nice. So guys, that is it, minus the three that I smashed, or I didn't smash them, somebody smashed them. But, so out of all of them, I'm really liking all of, all of them. This one, maybe not so much, because it is just really fruity, and that's not my scent preference. We'll see, maybe. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, everything else I'm really digging. The Palo Santo one. Maybe, maybe not. It is a little cologne -y. I just have to, I guess, get out of my head what I thought it was going to be. I just read the label Palo Santo. Oh, yeah, get it, get it, get it. Um, without really probably reading the notes. So that is my uh, Colonial Candle Haul. And let me see if that sale, the sale was last week. They sh I ordered them on Wednesday. They shipped on Friday, and I got them today super fast. Super fast, so no complaints there. And it does not look like the sale is still on as of today, which is Monday, the 3rd of August. But I still say go ahead and look around the website because uh, you never know what you're going to find there. So, And I also, if anybody has any experience with Colonial Candle, let me know how you guys find them. As I said, this is going to be, other than, other than the Oval Candle, this will be my first experience with Colonial Candle. So I'm really excited to see how these burn. That's it for me, everybody. Stay safe, wear your mask, and I will see you soon. Bye.